Hello and welcome to this Kasambi tutorial. In this session, we'll explain what to expect when you use the Kasambi app for the very first time. The first step is to download the Kasambi app from Apple App Store or Google Play Store. You should allow any notifications when prompted. Next, power on your Kasambi enabled devices and then open the Kasambi app. The app will automatically search for all powered Kasambi enabled devices within Bluetooth range of your mobile device. All unpaired devices will then be displayed in a pop up list. All Kasambi devices should be supplied in an unpaired state. If a device doesn't appear in the pop up list, it might be already paired to some other network and you can find the device in the nearby devices screen. Please check our tutorial on unpairing devices for more information. To be able to program and use any Kasambi enabled luminaire or device, it must be added to a Kasambi network. Kasambi enabled devices can only be in one network at a time. The process of connecting a device to a network is called pairing. Battery powered devices should be activated before being paired. For example, an express can be activated by pushing a preset button. Methods for activating battery powered partner devices should be checked from the manufacturer's instructions. The listed devices may have different firmware grades. The Kasambi firmware grades are called Classic and Evolution. If you discover that you have a mix of firmware grades, it may be possible to change the firmware from one grade to another before adding the devices to your network. Devices configured with Classic firmware can only be added to a Classic network, and devices with Evolution firmware can be added only to an Evolution network. For more information about how to identify the firmware grade of your devices, please see the Classic and Evolution tutorial. At the top of the list, you will see two options, Take into use or Add individually to. Assuming that all powered devices use the same firmware version, if you select the Take into use option, the app will automatically configure and add all devices to a new network called My Network. This name can be changed later, if desired. If you instead choose Add individually to, you will have the possibility to identify each luminaire one by one before adding it to your network. This may be useful if you have many luminaires and want to immediately identify each one and maybe rename them. When you select this option, you will be asked to create a network. Check the network creation tutorial for more information on what to consider when you create a network. When adding luminaires, each luminaire will identify itself one at a time by flashing on and off repeatedly. At this point, you can rename the luminaire, decide to add it into a group, or even ignore it. Once a luminaire has been added to your network, the next luminaire will start flashing for identification. Switches and sensors will also be displayed one at a time and can be added to your network. After they have been added to the network, they can be then identified using the app. If you happen to add a device by mistake, don't worry, you can always unpair it later. When all Kasambi enabled devices in Bluetooth range have been added to your network, you will be able to see the luminaires in the Luminaires tab. The switches and sensors can be found from the More tab under Switches and Sensors. All devices paired to the network can be configured to the functionality desired. Further information can be found from our support website and in our app user guide. You can also sign up for our free online training courses on our website. Thanks for watching.